It is early March 2022 and I've had just a very cold night here in the middle of Saxonia in Germany. The plan this time is to go a bit around Europe and try if I can actually combine cycle touring and busking. So I loaded my bike with stuff that normally nobody would carry on a bicycle tour and started heading towards Czech Republic. Later that day I crossed through Dresden, but since it was still very cold I didn't even bother with the idea of busking here. So I just kept following the Elbe river until I would find a nice place to camp again. It's the second night and I just slept here next to this little house. And yeah, it was quite chilly, it was like minus five degrees. The funny thing is I took my self-made sleeping bag, which I've never tested actually properly before. It was good, minus five degrees and I didn't have even cold feet in the morning, so I'm really happy. Very impressive rock formations, wow. Okay, five kilometer about until Czech Republic. Just a few minutes later I crossed the border and kept following that beautiful cycling path along the side of the Elbe river. Actually, the river on the Czech side changed its name and it's now called Labe. Good morning. It's really cold. Maybe minus three, I would guess. I kind of lost my thermometer, so I don't know anymore. But it's all frozen. I think it's gonna be nice and sunny today. I'm about 20 kilometer away from Prague so just gonna pack everything up and then cycle to Prague and hopefully do some busking there that would be awesome although my actual plan was to play music here in the streets of Prague I decided due to the still very low temperatures to skip that and keep cycling and hope it would get more warm soon so I keep moving south. Wow. Good morning. We got a new day and it's windy today. And I'm not sure I went out to pee tonight and the thermometer thermometer on my bike computer said it's minus 10 degrees. So when I arrived here yesterday everything was frozen nicely the ground but now the sun came up and it's like kind of warm and everything is muddy. So I'm rolling into Bruno and I'm planning on staying in a hostel here for a few days because I'm going to visit Forch. So here I should explain that Forch is a guitar manufacturer based near Bruno in Czech Republic and it's also the company that actually made my awesome foldable travel guitar which I always carry on the back of my bicycle. Unfortunately while being back home last year I broke a small but essential part of the folding mechanism and when I asked them if they could fix it they also invited me to see their factory where my guitar is getting repaired. And for me this was absolutely awesome to see how guitars are made. And a few hours later I had my repaired guitar back in my hands and I could keep cycling. I'm leaving Brno now and I'm heading towards Vienna which would be my first destination for busking. So far it's been quite cold but now the sun is getting stronger so I'm kind of keen to test out my new fixed up guitar. Let's go. So as I'm cycling here in this vineyard area, I'm actually approaching Austria more and more. I think it's only a few kilometers until I get to the border to Austria. So, welcome to Austria. Let's cycle towards Vienna. I don't want to 
complain, right? But just let me point out the direction of the wind since the last few days. In my direction. We are not friends right now. Not at all. Well, yeah. Could be worse, I think. So it's just about to get dark and Vienna is it's near sight so I can actually see it but instead of entering today I just find a spot here outside camp and then tomorrow in the morning I would cycle into Vienna and try busing that's the plan Whew. okay let's find a, a spot for the night so I just went now behind some bushes here First I was thinking up there could be actually really good, but then I thought like, oh, I'm too exposed, people from this village could see me. But then there is this thing here, it's like some perfect flat place for camping. day today. Sun is shining now this direction. Let's roll to Vienna. So according to some information I found online, I'm apparently allowed to play on the Danube. So that's the river that runs through Vienna and I'm getting close to the Danube and then just need to find a good spot. So just immediately after I started playing, I got told I can't play there, especially not with the amp, I have to play somewhere else and I went to somewhere else and it was already occupied. So I was like, nah, fuck this shit, let's just go to Bratislava and try there. I don't know. If I can't play with my amp, nobody hears me. <laughs> it's like, it's too silent, it's too quiet. But at least here in Vienna, I saw one of these robots that can walk. Anyways, so I keep moving towards Bratislava. And in a very few meters, there's border to Slovakia. As I arrived now here in Bratislava, the temperatures were finally warm enough and I could give busking the first serious shot. But I unfortunately somehow managed to break the start and stop button of my loop station, which means I can't really use it anymore. I tried to fix it, but there was just no way doing so. Somehow though, if I placed the loop station with its face down, I could still use the old tracks that I've played into this loop station before, so I kinda still could get out some sound. Later in the evening, I went off to some local music store and bought a cheap new loop station. The money which I made today covered half of the price for it, so it was kinda evened out for me. With that new loop station in my pocket, I was now on my way to Hungary, in hope to find a city where I could play there next. One, two, three, welcome to Hungary! In Hungary, I followed the Eurovelo number 6, but initially I planned to go to Budapest for busking, but after a quick check about the rules for street music, I decided to not go there, because it would probably just get me into trouble. Instead, I thought it's better to keep moving towards Croatia and maybe have a stop at the Balaton Lake and see if there's anything interesting going on.
So I'm actually very surprised about Hungary's cycling infrastructure. It's amazing. I'm pretty much able, I think, to follow the whole way from since the beginning, actually, to whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure how far, but since, since I entered Hungary, the cycle path has been amazing. I just spotted this nice place here and I think it's going to be the spot for tonight. Ooh, really difficult to ride that steep uphill in one hand. Ah oh yes, I made it. I just went through the city Vesprem and now I'm finally heading towards the Balaton Lake and it's also getting quite cloudy now so I think this is the last day where I would have like nice weather I think tomorrow it's gonna be shit and the next days after this as well for at least a week at least if the weather forecast is right let's hope it's not but we will see I am now on the peninsula Tihani and I want to get the ferry to the other side which is like 3 euros So, welcome to the southern side of the Balaton Lake I'm now heading towards Balaton Lelle the place where I spent 10 times holidays during my childhood Back then, when I was a kid, Badaton Lele was a very vivid place and everything seemed much bigger, but I guess it's a little bit unfair to compare the situation right now during off-season. So, I just moved on. So, it's quite tricky to actually find a spot to camp for tonight because all the space here on the lake is quite well used for touristic purpose. But if you search long enough, you eventually will always find something. So here we are, directly on the beach, off from the crowd. Couldn't be any better. So, and as the weather forecast said, it's gonna be shit weather, and I was right. So we've got like 10 degrees Celsius, uh, gentle rain, but let's keep moving towards Croatia. I didn't really made it far when I spotted the train station. Here I took the chance to charge my electronics and warm up my dinner from last night. I'm ready to go, but it just started to get worse now. Perfect! So the rain kind of slowed down a little bit, but still it's like everything is wet and it's super grey absolutely cloudy i think it's about 150 kilometer to zagreb from here so this is my next destination mm -hmm. 